Hi everyone, welcome to Tech in 5 Minutes. Over the past decade, the importance of the Software Testing Life Cycle, or STLC, has skyrocketed. For us, it is crucial as it helps engineers address bugs faster and more accurately. Before we start, make sure you are subscribed if you don't want to miss our upcoming videos. We share our team's insights into the tech industry. Let's now get back to our topic. Software testing lifecycle means a testing process which has specific steps to ensure that the quality goals have been met. Why do we need a software testing lifecycle? The benefits of STLC are the following. Direct project and team organization, quality assurance, predictable development process, and quick error detection. Before we analyze the STLC process, let's observe the main models of software development lifecycle as they directly influence the testing process. There are four common practices. Agile model, waterfall model, V model, spiral model. Let's review each of them. The main focus of Agile is to adapt to any changes and avoid long-term planning. We value Agile for the transparency of project delivery. This model involves testing as early as possible. Let's summarize its advantages. Instant product delivery, users' involvement in product development, constant communication, continuous improvement process, less planning. Two, waterfall. Contrary to Agile methodologies, the waterfall model is about long-term planning. It works great for small projects. Don't you think that a stable traditional approach is better than a flexible one? Share your thoughts in the comments. Anyway, the advantages of Waterfall are its review process and persistence of linear testing. Three, V model. This model is about planning the expected results right at the verification phase. The V model breaks down the testing phase into detailed steps to ensure the validation and verification process. According to our team's experience, the V-Model is rarely used these days. V-Model benefits include simplicity in use, the test plan is specified before coding, real-time error tracking, defined user role in the verification phase, and finally, the spiral model. This methodology focuses on risk analysis and spirals, development loops. It combines both linear and iterative approaches. Each spiral addresses one single activity of software development. The spiral model has the following benefits. It allows changes in requirements, good for complex projects, ability to manage risks at earlier stages. Would you like to learn more about software development methodologies? Check our guide in the description box. Let's now review the process of software testing lifecycle. Phase one, requirements analysis. After product requirements are set out, Jelvik's testing teams try to evaluate this information and ensure that it works for the project. Requirement analysis includes the following activities. Defining software features, setting testing priorities, preparing requirement traceability matrix, RTM. It is used to track the requirements and to check if the current project requirements are met. And finally, we perform identifying the testing environment details. Deliverable of this stage is requirement traceability matrix. Phase two, test planning. Key activities in this stage include assigning roles and responsibilities, risk evaluation, test tool selection, and cost analysis. Deliverables of this stage are effort estimation document and test plan strategy document to identify what we are testing, how, and what are our outcomes. Phase three, test case development. At this stage, our team prepares and reviews test cases, automation scripts, and creates test data. Obviously, deliverables here are test cases and scripts and test data. Phase four, test environment setup. Once software build is deployed, we execute environment setup, software and hardware configuration, and smoke test execution. As a result, we get the environment ready with test data set up and smoke test results. Phase five, test execution. Testers carry out test script execution, test script maintenance, and bug reporting. In case of bugs, the build is moving back to the development team. After bug fixing, we carry out regression testing. Deliverables of test execution are completed RTM with the execution status, test cases updated, and defect reports. 
And finally comes phase six, test cycle closure. This is about measuring results. So we conduct test results analysis, evaluation of test coverage, quality, costs, time and objectives criteria, and preparation of the final report. Deliverables of the final phase are test closure report and test metrics. And that's it. If you're looking for an expert QA team to secure your IT project, look no further. Jelvix offers the most advanced QA and testing services on the market. We provide end-to-end -end software development services. Find our contacts in the description box. Thank you for watching this video and make sure you hit the like button. Subscribe to Tech in 5 minutes if you don't want to miss our upcoming videos. Take care.